What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. If you will, please consider using my code, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there in the center screen, also a little left-hand corner of your screen. And with that green check mark right there, folks, you can tell I am an epic partner. Here we go, folks, we got our brand new bonus pack, a level up pack of Chapter 4, Season 1. And there is a little bonus that you get with this pack as of right now they have not fixed it so if you have not purchased this you're thinking about it you need to do this right now folks because I'm gonna show you how to get 28 levels 28 levels in one game in under what about seven or eight minutes you'll have to um, you know track the time of the video on how long it takes me to get it but I'm gonna get both of these in one gameplay actually this is my son's gameplay I did this in um, Parts one and one video, and parts two in a second video. This is his gameplay, and um, uh, doing both of these in one gameplay. And again, we're going to get 28 levels in one game. So if they don't fix this, and this is like a little bonus that they're giving us without saying anything about it, you can get 56 levels. You heard me correctly, 56 levels by doing this. And you see, we got part one and part two released right away from jumpstart that's something they've never done before with the level up pack it's always been week one then you wait a week week two you wait a week week three you wait a week then you get week four well from start we're getting parts one and part two right from start so you're able to unlock the back bling and you're able to unlock the wrap right from start and this is an absolutely sick skin i love this skin the one thing I can say with the Fortnite, when it comes to the Fortnite skins, their purple skins look absolutely sick. I don't recall ever seeing one that does not look really sick. And this is a Galaxia, a Galaxia skin, excuse me. And look at the pickaxe. That just looks absolutely sick. And the back bling too. I mean, this whole skin, I will definitely be running this skin multiple times. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take and show you something here real quick. Here's our first location down here in the lower right hand corner of the map by Faulty Splits. Notice I'm at level 45. You'll see that will come into play here in a second. And by level 45 in the top portion of the map is our second location. We're going to have both of these in one game. We're going to start off though at Faulty Splits. You're going to want to track your quest. It's going to help you out because it will show you where you're going to next on the mini map. And also make sure you put your pointer on there so you know, when you're coming in from the battle bus you know exactly where you're going to have to go. Now there is only two motorcycles, so don't worry about no chest or anything, just go straight to the motorcycles and hit and get on the motorcycle and hit this point. Now if you start off here, just go right over this cliff, don't jump down because you're going to hit this dirt pile right here and go straight ahead. Again, again, and we're going to go right over the cliff here, stay to the left of these trees and right here is our next marker. Play on the Xbox, you want to hit A on this ramp so you can jump. Try to stay on that dirt path. If you don't, that's fine. Just go down the hill and, and catch this next dirt path. And take it to our next location, which is actually in the team leader's head. You can go inside the team leader's head, uh, call team leader that is, and there's a ramp there. Again, hit A on Xbox. I don't know what it is on the other device that you might be playing on. That's going to help you clear space, especially when we get to that next that next one we have to do and you're on, going to be on the ice. It'll help you clear a lot of that ice so you're not sliding so much. Again, here's our next one. You can hit A. So you see how much land you're, you know, how much space you're covering by hitting that A. Otherwise, you're just going to have a regular jump. When you get up here, you get close to this bridge. You want to go to the left of the bridge, right across the street. On this bridge, there is a dirt path. Take this dirt path, that's where you will find your next one. Hit this trail right here. Now we're going to stop right here and hit this uh, chest. And the good thing about the hills, if you're getting hills you have to get shot at, um, you can use the hills while you're on the dirt bike. Um, that's one of the advantages of being on a dirt bike. If you're in a vehicle, you have to switch seats in order to heal which you do not have to do on a dirt bike. 
Again, going to hit this one here. That is stage seven of seven, and it's completed now. So I'm going to check here. Go mark part number two. Put our blue marker on there so we know we're going to go. You see there was our back pointing that just showed up. So now we're going to make our way over to our mark location. Again, just take whatever path you want to take. Just remember, if you know an edge is coming up, just pay attention to your mini map. If you see an edge is coming up, uh, whatever the jump button is on your device, hit that. So it'll help you clear some, some distance. If you get into a location like this where there's probably going to be nobody else around you, go ahead and hit the chest. If you get these little bushes that are on the ground, pick them up. Because if you don't, if you don't use these bushes, if you're um, not used to using them, if you put them on the ground, they will give you health. So again, you just want to make your way over to your marked location. Again, just keep making your way over. I'm going to leave all this footage in so you see how he actually got there. So we're just going to continue on here across snow and ice and making our way over trying trying to stay away from people he actually did a pretty good job he actually managed to avoid not being shot I should say shot at at least appeared that way um, I ended up getting a bot shot trying to shoot me Part one. I'll put the links to um, the two videos that I did, part one and part two, down below. But he was able to actually do this in, I guess I want to say it was like seven or eight minutes. You have to look at the time down below. Here he's getting close to the gas station now. You can see we're getting closer to the blue line, under 100 meters. And you can see the two motorcycles there. So again, you can see the marker there. He was smart here. You want to go to the left of this ramp. Don't. I took and jumped this ramp. You watched the video that I did. And so he knew he had to go to the left of that ramp. I took and jumped the ramp. Which I wasted a little time going there. Go across the ice. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why, his marker stopped marking it. He had to go back and remark it. Notice it's not marked, so he had to remark it and go put, put his mark on the location again so you can see where it was. For whatever reason, it, it just stopped. I've never had seen that happen before. Leave a comment down below if that's ever happened to you if you're working a quest that had multiple stages. So that's four of seven. So we got all, all those done except for the ones here on the ice with with the one dirt bike. So he hops on another one here. He's going to hit this ramp here again. Don't forget to hit A. He hit this ramp and clear some of this ice. Go through these trees. Be another set of ramps. Once you get through these trees. And here you can really see it. You hit, these, hit this ramp and hit A, you see how much distance you clear. And that's six, and this is going to be the last one right here. And this is seven right here. Goes up into the house. Again, this is actually this is a lot better. The level up is always better than, than getting the 
Uh, the 25 levels for 1850 V Bucks. Because you're getting 20 or 28 levels for 1200 V Bucks. So, but if you need to, to do both of them, you got that option. But do you see right there, we're at level 60 right now. And I'm gonna sh I'll show you a side by side comparison here in a second. So, here, here we go. You can see 150 stars. There is the wrap that he, that he unlocked. Again, pretty sick wrap. There's the back bling. And there we go, 150 battle stars. You have reached level 75. And he unlocked a couple of rewards at the same time. So again, you can see all the rewards he unlocked. Like I said, uh, total of actually 30 levels he got um, by doing this. So this is a must buy. Again, I still kind of think that, you know, first off, if you don't know, the season was supposed to end on March 10th and now ends on March 8th. It seems like they waited a little while to release this. So is this the reason why we got parts one and two right away as soon as this was, was released? Also, is this why we got extra rewards? Um, or why is why, why, why I mean by extra rewards by you know extra levels because they've never ever done this before so we got two more levels coming out we got parts three and parts four and our next one will be the pickaxe which again that thing just looks absolutely sick then our last one is is the skin so again if they don't change anything to keep it the way it is you're looking at another 14 levels and when this uh, clip was recorded you know four days and two hours and then, you know, then 11 days and two hours, you're looking at another 14 levels. So again, hopefully they don't change this because again, when you were supposed to only get 28 levels, you could be getting 56 levels. So if you're struggling to even at least hit level 100 so you get everything that's in the battle pass without the bonus rewards, this is definitely gonna help you out. Now, because you made it this far into the video, um, I am going to show you the gameplay of my gameplay from parts one and parts two of Victor Owls and a crown Victor Owl. Um, but first, I'm going to show you side by side so you can see where that where we was when we started this video and where we was at the end of this video. And here's the side by side so you can see we was at level 45, needed 47,680 XP to hit level 46, and now we are sitting on level 75. And we need 59,080 XP to hit level 76, which again is absolutely insane. 30 levels in one game, which is unheard of. Usually when you hear something like that, somebody's glitching or cheating or something to do something like this. And this is all 100% legitimate. You can't get in trouble for doing anything because you're doing nothing wrong. So again, I'm going to show you my Victor Owl, my Crown Victor Owl that I got um, with this skin. Uh, there'll be no commentary on it, so enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget, uh, down below is the uh, gameplay of mine too if you want to go watch those. Also, I release brand new solo Victor Owls every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you check that out, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and select all. That way you will know when a brand new video comes out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.
Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be a dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.